What is up YouTube? Welcome back to another Dart Frog Adventure. Today we're out at the infamous Haunted Bandits Cove. It's a frisbee disc course. So if you've been watching any of my videos, uh, you know that there's there was a big hut right in that where that tree's at. Uh, they've taken it down recently. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the K2 meter right there. And we're gonna see if there's anything still fluctuating right there. So let's go ahead and pull out the K2. So the K2 usually always goes off in this area. Let's we'll see what happens today. Like I said, we're gonna get over here where the hut used to be. You can still see like how the ring of it was. And uh, this place is pretty crazy too. I'll get into the urban legend of this here in a second. But let's get over here to the tree and see what happens if anything still goes off. So we're right here where the old haunted hut used to be. I tore it down. Oh yeah, I tore it down. And uh, I don't want to walk inside where the hut used to be. I'm, you can say I'm superstitious when it comes to that kind of stuff. But uh, the hut used to be here. And we're just gonna scan this real quick. This used to be the entrance of the hut right here. So when you tear down something like this, when you tear down the hut or something where stuff was always hanging out and living, it has a tendency to get mad. Are you mad that your hut's been torn down? I don't know. I think we might pull out a digital recorder and check it out in this area too. Let's go ahead and try the digital recorder. See what the digital recorder has to say. says please wait okay now it's recording so this is where the old haunted hut used to be are you mad that the hut's been torn down let's see if any response Uh, like I said before, when a place has paranormal activity, it's going to be 24-7. This place is usually more active at night. Uh, there has been some strange stuff that's happened down here during the daytime. But uh, this is where the old haunted huts used to be. Um, but we're going to go ahead and venture in here more. I want to see what how much of this stuff's changed. I just wanted to come down and do a vlog down here today. And uh, see what they got cleaned up and see that they put in a new pad over here. Uh, like I said, this is a frisbee disc course. There's a... Uh, frisbee thingy right there so but uh, oh what is that? yeah there's one night that my uh, cousin and I Wild West kid come down here and we got right there where that uh, frisbee thing is at and that wasn't there at the time so that that's one of the old haunted hut videos that's on my main channel I think it's still on there it may have gotten deleted I'm not sure I may have took that off there but we were walking through here and all of a sudden we heard a really loud pop it came from right behind us and that's not the only time we've heard a really loud pop out here and there's nothing that's been in there to make that pop we were up by the waterfall one night and we we're walking down from the waterfall and there were some sticks and my cousin Marnay was with me and uh, we were walking down and i still have a short for that one that's on my main channel um but we we're walking down and all of a sudden you hear this really loud stick break so i turn around real quick there's nothing behind us definitely check out that video that one's really cool it's uh I think I named that one, they live in the shadows. It is pretty cool, it's, we're right up by the haunted waterfall. But uh, here's another thing that I find really interesting about down here, due to the fact that, you know, this is a uh, rumored to be uh, a haunted uh, area. <laughs> I wanna show you this, this is cool. So they put in these little uh, post signs. This is a uh, T-17, this is where the hut used to be. But they got nooses right there. So for anybody that doesn't know that this place has activity to it, 
um, they don't think nothing of those, but for the ones that do know that the place has activity, um, <laughs> I think that's a bad choice to put in here. Uh, I mean, it's cool. It makes the golf course really cool because this is a really cool uh, frisbee disc course. But uh, we're going to go ahead and get on this adventure a little bit more, and I'm going to check out some more stuff. I want to head over there today too and check out the newer part of the course that they just built. Um, this place, this place is pretty cool. It's really fun to hike. Really cool place to play disc golf. But uh, I want to see what's going on. Um, hopefully the waterfall is running today, but we'll see. Let's go check it out. If I could walk through here, you're always hearing strange noises back here, especially at night. You know, sometimes it's the trees just creaking with the wind, but there's other times that we've caught some really strange noises down here that can't be explained. Uh, we picked up really strange uh, voices on our digital recorders. Our flashlights have gone dead on us. This is a like I think a power station of some sort, maybe an old water station. I'm not sure, but there's a river right, uh, not an old river. Uh, sorry, not a river. It's a riverbed right here. Let's go ahead and check this out real quick. See, this is the way that we used to have to go to get up to the waterfall until they cleared all this stuff out. They've been doing a lot of work back here clearing this up. Whoa! Almost fell. There's a wood chipper in there. I got a story about a wood chipper too. See the wood chipper in there? So when it comes to paranormal type of stuff, um, it says that you know water, uh, limestone, minerals, stuff like that, can uh, make a place very active. And anything that has like unshielded power, like I'll pull up my K2 right here next to this little building. This building has power running to it. It's probably unshielded. Um, that's what these K2s were originally intended for, is to find unshielded power sources. So like if you're like in an old house, you can track your um, electrical wiring and stuff like that and find out what's not shielded. Uh, Cause anything that's not shielded has the potential of starting a fire. But uh, let's go ahead and pull this out and we'll go ahead and see what's over here at this little building. We usually get really strange stuff over here in this little building. But then again, like I said, there's excess power that's all in here too. I don't know if you can hear that home, but that's from that power box. So in all reality, this thing should be going crazy right at the moment because we're next to power. I've held this up to like unshielded power boxes and it goes nuts. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, so we're getting unshielded power right here. See how high that is? That's not a good level of excess energy. So, and we're pretty much right there by that box. So let's get away from the box a little bit. So yeah, like, uh, like I was saying earlier, anything that can draw energy from anything like flashlights, uh, phones, battery packs, unused uh, energy like what that's putting out, anything can manifest itself. There's an old water trough over here too, which is we've always gotten some strange stuff from and whatnot, like strange hits on the K2 and whatnot. Uh, let me show you the wood chipper over here. So this is a different wood chipper. There was a different style of wood chipper down here one night. It was Halloween. I was down here with Yimmy and my cousin Marnay. And uh, we were walking over there to that side. And uh, we were, you know, we were just checking out. It's Halloween night. And all of a sudden we hear something go pop. It hit the wood chipper. There's like a stick that hit it. Um, so we all turned to look at the wood chipper and then you hear something run right behind us. You hear like footsteps. If you, you have to listen very carefully. I still have that on my main channel too. Uh, I forget what I called that one. Um, but yeah, that one's a really cool video too. Uh, like I said, you gotta listen very carefully for those steps. And when you hear those steps, it, you never miss them again. It's it's crazy. So right now we're over here by the water, this old water trough. They filled it in with rocks before this was just open. Um, usually I get crazy K2 hits around this damn thing too. So let's see what happens. There's rumor of a cryptid that's supposed to live out here. We nicknamed him Mando. And I'll show you that here in a little bit. And there's nothing going on today, which is okay. 
like I said, this area is usually more active at night than it is during the daytime. Uh, but I have caught some really strange stuff. Uh, I was over there by the old haunted huts one time. And uh, you see like this orb just come flying by. And you can see it, it's like a quick one. It, it's pretty cool. It's on one of my old videos. It's on my other main channel too. Uh, like I said, I'm going to post a couple of these videos here on my vlog channel for you guys. Uh, if you guys like them, most definitely check out my main channel because we're going to be doing a lot more over there uh, come soon. There's more places that we're going to go visit and whatnot. But right now I'm on my way, working my way towards the waterfall. So let's go check that out. So this is one of the areas where there used to be another really big hut and uh, that has gotten torn down recently. I know well, not too long ago as soon as they built the course here. Um, but yeah we used to get a lot of activity in that area too. This is a pretty cool spot. Just kind of walk over here and look around, check stuff out. So this right here used to be the old haunted. Uh, one of the old haunted huts. <clears throat> they tore it down. I'm going to bring up the K2 here. See what's going on over here. This spot was really active at one point too. And if you just saw it flash, that's just because I just turned it on. <clears throat> it always flashes when you turn it on. But yeah, they cleaned this area up some. Got your little trail right there. Leads down. It's a pretty cool little area. Like I was saying before, this this area right here where I'm at right now uh, is usually pretty freaking active at night. There's an old uh, building structure over there, just the foundation of it. We'll go check that out in a little bit. But uh, right now I'm going to keep my eyes out. Uh, some guys are playing frisbee disc and they lost a the disc. So I'm going to keep my eyes out while I'm back here adventuring. Try to help them out some. See if I can help them out at least. Back when we first started coming out here, none of this was cleared out. Like I said, you can see it in some of my original videos and whatnot. Uh, they've been doing a lot of work back here. to get ready for the frisbee disc and everything. But uh, yeah, you could barely walk through this area. Now there's like some pads and everything and whatnot. You can still see some of the old stuff over here. Let me flip the camera around so you can see a little bit better. Yeah, there's old pile of rocks and everything. We usually hear some really trippy noises back in here that night. Now, like I said, this is one of those areas that when you come at night, it's a whole different beast. But, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm going to keep walking around, check it out, see what they've done differently. There's still a bunch more over that way I want to go check out, and there's still a bunch on that side over there I want to check out. But I'm going to go ahead and cut through here somewhere. Keep my eyes out. See if I find that disc for those guys. Because I'm always back here exploring, so. <laughs> found somebody's snack. Well, I found something, but not what we're looking for. So, I guess we'll keep looking. So this is that old structure 
there was one night on my cousin Wild West kid and I come out here and uh, it was kind of cloudy it was kind of a rainy night and everything and as soon as he stepped foot on this thing we heard a scream off in the background crazy 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 but uh, yeah as soon as he stepped foot on that foundation as a blood curdling scream that we heard couldn't figure out what it was it was just a random scream somewhere So there's the Mando sign. That's how our little friend down here got his nickname Mando. <laughs> He's on the sign, so we're like, yeah, his name is probably Mando. But uh, yeah, I want to head over this way. There's more of the course that way. Uh, it goes over by the river. Uh, this place over here, you can usually get, uh, you'll see people camping. Um, oh, I haven't seen this yet. This is new. Drop zone. Huh, cool. Yeah, you get campers over there and whatnot. But uh, we're going to go ahead and head over this way and check it out. Like I was saying before, in that gated area right there where the wood chipper's at, that's where we heard that crazy noise. Something hit the wood chipper and it made all three of us turn. It was more of a distraction than anything. That's what I'm thinking. Because the little fellow that lives down here, a little cryptid that lives down here, pretty slick, pretty smart. Uh, there has been reports of uh, Bigfoot out in this area too, so I mean it could be a juvenile Bigfoot that we didn't see. It was kind of weird, but we heard them. We definitely heard them. And over there at the Haunted Huts, uh, Urban Legend has it that you can hear footsteps running around that hut. And uh, we've heard that before. There's been a lot of footsteps running around that hut. And we've actually went around the hut, like kind of following the footsteps. and. Uh, we didn't see anything, but we definitely heard it. Picked it up on camera a couple times too. Um, yeah, I think I think I still have that on my main channel. Uh, Martin and I come down here during the winter time when there's like nobody out here. Right now we got a lot of people playing disc golf, so I gotta be kind of careful where I walk so I get hit with a disc. Um, that would that would not be a fun day, but that's okay. So I'm gonna head over in this way and. Uh, Check out what's over here by the on these courses. See if I can find that little bunker. There's a hidden bunker out here. I want to see if I can find that again. But uh, let's go ahead and head over here. So crazy enough, I just found that bunker. We tried finding it at night one time, and we couldn't find it in any way, shape, or form. But uh, this bunker, or it's not really a bunker, it's just a little foundation or something. I always call it a bunker because it kind of looks like one. But uh, it's right over here. It's like an old foundation. I'm not sure what it was. I mean, it's not very big, whatever it is. So, but let's check it out. Here it is. It's just this weird structure out here. I'm not sure what that used to be. Some metal on it. I'm curious. Let's go ahead and break out the K2 here. Let's see if my K2 is on. K K2 is on. All right. It's definitely a weird structure. So yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and start wrapping down this video for today. My battery's starting to get low on my camera here. Um, starting to get a lot of people out playing disc golf today too, so it's getting a little bit harder to walk the course. Uh, don't want to get in the middle of their game and interrupt them any more than possible, or any less than possible, however you want to put that. Um, but yeah, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start wrapping down this video. If you guys are new to my channel, most definitely hit subscribe. I want to thank you guys so much for watching my videos. It means so much. You guys are awesome. Especially when you sit there and watch the whole video and, you know, drop down your good comments and whatnot. And uh, all that fun stuff. But, uh, yeah, so if you're new to my channel, hit subscribe. If you like this video, hit like. Until the next adventure.